Okay, this is the Angel Hug for Thursday, the 25th of April. And um, today I'm gonna go back to the Ascended Masters because that's what I feel called to do. So let's just see what we can get on the Ascension path from the Master themselves. So of course, it makes perfect sense that we ask the Ascended Masters about things concerning ascension because they've done it before, they've been through it and they are around us in droves, I'm being told to remind everyone, they are around us in droves, wanting us to ask for their help, supporting us, supporting our ascension, supporting our growth individually, personally and collectively. So let's see what we get for today. Artistic expression. So how this relates to ascension is I would say get into your sense of what it is that you do artistically that brings you into a place of joy, that helps you to raise your frequency. I'm thinking about it right now, actually, thinking about some of mine. Um, what are the things that you can do today that make you feel really, really good about being you as a free, artistic, expressive, creative, wonderful, limitless being? Because it's often through our creativity that we connect with our limitless nature again, that we can connect with our divine essence, that we connect with our sense of joy and fun and all of those things that help us to raise our frequency. So in terms of that as our theme this week, raising our frequency and ascension, artistic expression is definitely the way to go today. So get something out, dust it off, you know, and, and start looking at it again in a whole new way. Look at it in terms of what it does to you, how it elevates you. It's time to stop telling yourself that it doesn't make a contribution because it's not an obvious way of serving. It's time to start telling yourself that the best thing that you can do right now today to raise the frequency of your, your own being and to raise the frequency on the planet is to do something that makes you feel fantastic, something that you allow yourself to express your true being through. So that's the first card. And I'm gonna pick another one to go with that. Where am I going? Dolphins and mermaids, okay. So we're gonna pick another card to go with artistic expression. What else do we need to know Ooh, about artistic expression? And I'm doing everything a bit topsy-turvy. But that card just fell out, by the way. Playtime. So it's important to remember to play, have some fun with it, and um, ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So this week is a full-on, really powerful week for going ahead with our heart's desire. But it really is about getting into the purity, the pure truth of our heart's desire and not denying ourselves. So that is gorgeous, I love that card. So what is it that you do that makes you feel really creative? What is it that you do that makes you feel playful? And how can you spend some time doing that today and allowing that to realign you with the divine? Because sometimes it can be a little bit like a, you know, wading through treacle. So if you're in that quagmire right now, thinking about the, the you know, heavy energies around or the, all the dilemmas and all of the questions and the distractions and the illusions of the old 3D world, and you want to shift out of it, and you've found it challenging to connect in meditation or through some other means. Do something playful, do something creative and just let everything go. Even the idea that you have to ascend or that you have to connect with something higher. Let all of it go in the spirit of pure playfulness and joy and creativity and without thinking about it, you'll be back there. So that's it everyone for Thursday. Have a great day. Have a, a gorgeously divine creative day and go for it.